These are the first three extracellular domains of the insulin receptor extracellular region. A leucine A rich repeat 1 or LR1 in red, a CYSTEINE rich region CR in yellow, a second leucine A rich repeat or LR2 in green. Both of the leucine A rich repeats, that is, LR1 in red and LR2 in green, consist of right-handed beta helix. Both LR1 in red and LR2 in green consist of a six-stranded beta sheets of five residues long for the base of the domain. Two beta sheets of three residue long each form the sides of the domain. As paragenes form hydrogen bonds with the main chain to stabilize the bends, glycines give flexibility to the bends. Each of the first three modules of the cysteine rich domain in orange is stabilized by a pair of disulfide bonds between the cysteines. The cysteine rich domain solely interacts with LR1 in red but not with LR2 in green. The major interface is at T first three modules in orange. Tryptophan 176 of the first module inserts to the hydrophobic core of between the last two turns of the LR1 in red. The last four modules of the cysteine rich domain in orange consist of a beta finger motif with disulfide bonded three beta strands. The second and third strands of the last four modules of the cysteine rich domain form a beta ribbon. They lines up to form a twisted eight-stranded beta sheet. The overall structure of the first three domains is similar to that of the whole extracellular domain structure. Insulin receptor extracellular domain dimer in red, crystallized with four fab fragments. A leucine rich repeat or LR1 in red, a CYSTEINE rich region CR in yellow, a second leucine rich repeat or LR2 in green are followed by three fibronectin type 3 domains. FN31 in cyan, FN32 in blue, FN33 in magenta. Each monomer has an inverted V layout. LR1 in red, CR in yellow, and LR2 in green, for one leg. FN31 in cyan, FN32 in blue, FN33 in magenta for the other leg. Each of the fibronectin type 3 domains, FN31 in cyan, FN32 in blue, FN33 in magenta has a seven-stranded beta sandwich structure. There is an insert domain in the middle of the FN32 domain in blue. The insert domain is disordered in this structure. Within the insert domain there is a carboxy terminal alpha chain or alpha CT for insulin binding. There are salt bridges between LR1 in red and FN32 in blue for dimer stabilization. Also, there are interslobonit salt bridges between LR2 in green and FN31 in cyan for dimer stabilization.
an insulin complex, a leucine rich repeat or LR1 in red, a CYSTEINE rich region CR in yellow, a second leucine rich repeat or LR2 in green, a fibronectin type 3 domain FN31 in cyan, fused to a carboxy terminal alpha chain or alpha CT from the FN32 insertion domain in blue, and insulin in black. Two chains of insulin, A in gray and B in black interact with the carboxy terminal alpha chain or alpha CT in blue. Insulin B chain and the alpha CT interact with the leucine rich repeat 1 LR1 beta strands. Insulin B chain C terminal beta strand is displaced by the carboxy terminal alpha chain alpha CT. LR1 of insulin receptor APO form must open for interaction with insulin. 